purchasing your CSE e-bike. We're really excited about the third generation of our XP750 fat tire e-bike. Now in this video, we'll help you get from this to this. In addition to the parts that need to be assembled out of the box, there will be critical components that will need to be checked, inspected, and adjusted. CSC is not responsible for neglecting this action. If you are not able to perform any of these steps, please take your e-bike to your local bike shop for assembly. If you are capable of assembling your e-bike, but unfamiliar with bicycle components and their function, have your e-bike gone through by a professional bicycle mechanic before you ride. Tools needed. Four, five, six, and eight millimeter Allen wrench. A Torx T25 wrench. A 15 millimeter wrench. 10 millimeter wrench and socket. Side cutters. Clean rag brake cleaner or isopropyl alcohol. A bicycle specific multi-tool or kit will have most if not all of the tools in a convenient, easy to carry package. This is highly recommended. Check the links in the description. With side cutters, remove box straps. Use caution when pulling open the box. There will be lingering sharp staples. Removing the staples from the box and properly disposing of them will help prevent getting cut. Using side cutters, carefully remove your 48 volt, 16 amp hour, high capacity lithium ion battery. Remove the parts box. Inside, you'll find your headlight, pedals, and your charger. This is a good opportunity to fully charge your battery. Plug your charger into the wall socket first. A green light will appear on the charger. Then plug the charger into the battery port. The light will change from green to red when charging. When the battery is fully charged, the light will turn back to green. Remove the top foam padding. With side cutters, selectively cut and only remove the large zip ties that hold the front tire to the frame. To prevent damaging your frame, remove the front wheel while lifting the front of the e-bike. We are going to use the box as a temporary bike stand. Lift out the front of your e-bike and carefully rest the fork dropout on the folded edge of the box. Use caution, the box will be somewhat unstable. With a four millimeter Allen wrench, remove the handlebar clamp from the steering stem. With side cutters, cut the zip ties to release the handlebar assembly. Evenly position handlebars with the brake levers facing forward in the steering stem and with a four millimeter Allen wrench, attach the handlebar clamp over the handlebar. Evenly hand tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern. We will make final adjustments to the handlebar and controls later when the e-bike is fully assembled. Locate the thick foam sheets used in packing. Now, continuing to use your box as a temporary bike stand, place the thick foam sheets around the edge of the box to protect the frame and components from damage. Now, carefully flip the e-bike over upside down in the box. Remove the fork dropout brace and brake caliper spacer. Now that the spacer is out, do not engage the front brake lever. Remove the axle protector from the front wheel. Pro tip, 
Use a clean rag, brake cleaner, or isopropyl alcohol to clean the front brake rotor of contaminants and oily residue. Even oils from your fingers can contaminate brakes. Loosen both front wheel axle nuts to the ends of the axle threads, but leave the nuts attached. This will give you more room and help you when installing the front wheel. Install front wheel by placing front axle in fork dropouts with the washers outboard. Verify that the axle is fully inserted in the dropouts while carefully aligning the rotor in the Tektro hydraulic brake caliper. Verify that the brake pads are outboard of the rotor. With a 15 millimeter wrench, tighten axle nuts firmly to 20 newton meters. Carefully position the e-bike right side up. Due to the weight of the e-bike, an assistant is highly recommended to prevent injuries or damage. Place e-bike on side stand. Remove the protective bubble wrap. Using a clean rag, brake cleaner, or isopropyl alcohol, clean the rear brake rotor. Check and adjust tire pressure from 15 to 30 PSI. Now this is dependent on rider weight, terrain, comfort, and conditions. The rear tire usually uses higher tire pressure. With a 15 millimeter wrench and grease, install the pedals. They are labeled right and left. The right drive side pedal uses right hand threads and the left brake side pedal uses left hand threads. Firmly tighten pedals. Using a four and five millimeter Allen wrench, adjust the zoom 60 degree adjustable steering stem. Handlebars. Tektro brake levers and Shimano shifter to a comfortable position or your personal preference. Torque steering stem adjustment bolt to 18.5 Newton meters. Torque stem pinch bolts to 10 Newton meters. Torque handlebar pinch bolts to six Newton meters. With a 10 millimeter wrench and socket and using the supplied hardware, install the 50 Lux Bouchelle headlight to the front of the fork crown. The connector for the headlight is wrapped behind Velcro. The two pin connector is indexed and only goes in together one way. Verify and align the arrows before snapping together. Loosen your 27.2 millimeter seat post clamp and adjust the seat height to your preference. While you're waiting for your battery to fully charge, take this opportunity to do a safety and function check. Go around the entire bike and verify all the hardware is tight. Verify the function of the brakes and take it for a quick ride without the battery and verify complete and smooth shifting. Your battery is securely retained in place with a locking detent system. The keys to unlock your battery are zip tied to the handlebars. 
When the battery is fully charged, the light on the charger will turn green. Pushing the state of charge button on the battery will also show its status. Starting from the left side, insert the bottom of the battery in a 45 degree angle into the frame. Swing the top of the battery into the locking mechanism. An audible click will verify it is locked in place. To remove the battery, turn the key clockwise and use the handle to extract the battery in a 45 degree angle. Now you're ready to ride under e-power. Hold down the center button to power up. Use caution as the thumb throttle is functional as soon as the dash is on. Tapping the center button will cycle you through the riding metrics. Tapping the upper and lower buttons will cycle you through the pedal assist levels. Holding the top button will turn on your lights. There is also an automatic light function on your XP750. Lights will turn on automatically when it gets dark. Holding down the bottom button will engage a walking mode. For more detailed instructions on the Intelligent Dash, go to the link below in the description. Now get out there and start enjoying your CSE e-bike. Now your first ride on your brand new CSE e-bike will be memorable. Whether it's a good or bad memory will be highly dependent on you. Guys, safety first. If you're not able to perform any of these steps, please take your e-bike to your local bike shop for assembly. Now, if you're capable of assembling your e-bike, but are not familiar with the components and their function, please have a professional mechanic go through your bike before you ride it. And thank you guys for watching and ride safe.